Hey Google, call Maddie. Okay, dialing now. Hey Google, book a table for four. Sounds good. Hey Google, call my brother. Hey Google, call my brother. Text Carol. Can you text Carol for me too? Hey Google, who just texted me? Yo Google. Kevin. Kevin, that was great. But we haven't made Yo Google work yet, so you have to say hey. Hey Google. Hey Google. Play some Sia. <laughs> Hey Google, play the next episode. Play The Crown on Netflix. All Channing Tatum movies. Okay. Yo, Google. That was great. Um, can we just get one where you say, hey Google? Hey Google, find my phone. Finding now. Whoa. Hey Google. Hey Google. Hey Google! Yo Google, lock the front door. Okay, let's just go with yo Google then. I'm sure the engineers would love to update everything. Yo. What can I do for you? It gets a little annoying to say, hey, Google, every time I want to get my assistant's attention. This grandma, who you might have seen on YouTube, was definitely feeling that way. Cuckoo! Hey, cuckoo! Cuckoo! Hello, cuckoo! Hey, Google. Okay, Google. You want to know what is the weather? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. In Flagler Beach tomorrow, there will be showers with a high of 65 and a low of 56. Jesus. <laughs> well, the assistant eventually worked for her, but it shouldn't be so hard. Now you won't have to say, hey, Google, every time. Check this out. Hey, Google, did the Warriors win? Yes, the Warriors won 118 to 92 last Sunday against the Pelicans. Nice. When's their next game? The Warriors' next game is today at 7.30 p.m., where they will be playing the Pelicans. Great. It's going to be fun to watch tonight. Hey, remind me to find my Kevin Durant jersey when I get home. Sure. I'll remind you when you get home. Now, notice that I was able to have a natural back-and-forth conversation with my assistant without having to repeat, hey, Google, for every follow-up request. Even more helpful, my assistant could understand when I was talking to it versus when I was talking to all of you. We call this continued conversation, and it's been a top feature request. You'll be able to turn it on in the coming weeks. Yeah. All right. So let's say it's almost game time. Hey, Google, turn on the Warriors game and start the popcorn maker. Sure. Here's the Golden State Warriors game on YouTube TV and turning the popcorn maker on. Oh, and can you dim the lights in the family room and in the kitchen? Sure, dimming the lights in the family room and in the kitchen. Now, you'll notice that in both of these examples, I asked for multiple things at once, something that feels really natural for us, but it's very difficult for computers to understand. It's something we call multiple actions, and we're rolling out this capability in the assistant now. Now, you might think, come on, it's easy. Just look for the and. <laughs> but it's not always so straightforward. In this example, even though it has the word and, it's not two requests. It's actually just one. But here, even though it looks very similar, the assistant has to break it apart to form the two requests. In linguistics, it's called coordination reduction. Now, multiple actions can get way more complicated. So just for fun, hey, Google, who was the governor of California when Kevin Durant was drafted, and what team drafted him? Arnold Schwarzenegger was the governor in 2007. Kevin Durant was drafted by the Seattle Supersonics. All right, just in case you were wondering. All right. So next, we've also been working on improving the conversation with the Google Assistant for families. Last fall, we launched our family experience for the Google Assistant. It provides family-friendly games, activities, and stories. We've continued to grow our library, and families have listened to over 130,000 hours of children's stories in the last two months alone. Now, as we continue to improve the experience for families, a concern that we've heard from many parents, including people on the team who have children, is are kids learning to be bossy and demanding when they can just say, hey, Google, to ask for anything they need? It's not a simple area, but one step that we've been working on is something we call pretty please. Some of the parents on the team have been testing it out with their families. Take a look.
Hey Google, talk to Voicefront. Daddy, you forgot to say please. <sighs> okay Google, please tell me a story. Thanks for saying please. Play freeze dance, please. What a nice way to ask me. Tell me a story, please. Thanks for asking so nicely. Once upon a time, there was a wacky walrus. Please help me with my homework. Please. Please. Mm. You're very polite. I know. <laughs> so the assistant understands and responds to positive conversation with polite reinforcement. Now, we've been consulting with families and child development experts, and we plan to offer Pretty Please as an option for families later this year. So, with new voices for your assistant, continued conversation, multiple actions, and Pretty Please, AI is helping us make big strides so everyone can have a more natural conversation with their assistant.